This shoe here was going to originally be named the Sharkadons. And yeah, I can say that name probably was not going to go over very well. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Lewis of the Way of Kicks channel back again with a special unboxing here of a shoe that's releasing a little early. Well, it released a little early, rather, but the official release date on the sneakers app is supposed to be January 17th of 2025. Originally, it was supposed to come out here in the month of December, but now they got pushed back into January. Retail price point on the shoe is $170. Now, this pair in particular, fortunately, is not my size. It's going to be a size 13, so I won't be able to do an on feed. But shout out to my guy Tyler, who was nice enough to go ahead and send these to me to go and do a review on. The label here reads Nike Zoom Field the Jacks. White, light chocolate, white is what the tag says. And again, like I said, this is a size 13. So how are these almost known as the Sharkadons? Well, that's because they actually draw inspiration from the Zoom Spiridons and the Land Shark baseball cleats. Taking a quick look here at the box, man. The box is very nice. You kind of have this kind of raised lettering on here raised nike symbol all around the box you got that nike and jack on the back cactus jack there written as well they did a real nice job as far as creating this box here and but we're gonna go ahead and get into the shoe all right so here we go we got the box you can see we got that jack written there with the nike air and swoosh we got jack written cactus jack written here on the uh the tray area you know, all the way around, I think they did a really nice job with this box, light blue in color, and all the lettering on here is in that sale colorway. When you go ahead and pop open the lid, there's nothing here under the lid itself, but you can kind of see the grooves or indentations there. It might be a little hard to see, but yeah, the as I stated earlier, the lettering is actually debossed on there, and you can see the embossing here on the cardboard side. In any case, taking a look here at the tissue paper, they actually have Jack written on there and Nike. Uh, let me get that a little close so you guys can see the focus there. Hopefully you can see that, guys. But yeah, I think that's a nice little touch. They gave us some actual detailed tissue paper. And when you go ahead and pull this open, you got a little more tissue paper here to protect the integrity of the shoes. Let me go ahead and pull these guys out for you. Not double wrapped or anything like that, you know? So that's good. At least you don't have an excessive amount of tissue paper. But let's go ahead and take a look here at the right shoe first. Excuse me, the left shoe. And man, these, like I said, these are actually really, really nice. Um, they did a really good job on these. I love the way the colorway is laid out here. You see you got sail laces. You got a white strap here to go across. Uh, here on the tongue, you actually have that exposed uh, foam material, as you can see. And it actually does say Cactus Jack here on the tongue, guys. Uh, brown Nike and swoosh on a white tongue tag. Behind the tongue itself, uh, it's nothing but that, you know, mesh kind of sail material. You know, nothing special about it. Inside the sock liner, you can see it's all brown in there. Uh, there isn't actually anything written on the insole foot pad at all, except that Nike and swoosh that's on there. Uh, you do have a brown Nike swoosh and the side paneling here that runs all the way up into the toe. It actually has like a rope kind of cotton feel to it, guys. So I would suggest, depending on how you plan on wearing this shoe, to make sure you get yourself some guy, some of that rejuvenator water and stain repellent to go here on the sneakers themselves to kind of protect it from getting any stains. Cause I will tell you this material will stain and that is gonna be a uh, <laughs> female dog to clean. <laughs> Anyhow, moving on, we do have leather also here in the toe area and it's actually very soft to the touch. We have this cream leather strap that actually runs here around the mud guard all the way back to the heel. There on the back of the heel, you see we got that sycamore face with Nike swoosh actually as the mouth, which is actually a little different than what they do on, let's say, the Travis Scott uh, Jordan 1s, where you can see they actually have a stitched mouth. Uh, we do have a pull tab here on the back that says Air Zoom. It's white with silver and it says Nike Air and Zoom with uh, Spiridon also written 
on there as well. Let me give you guys a close look in there. Taking a look here at the midsole, we actually have what looks to be a shark here on the side, kind of a tribal look of, you know, a shark. Here goes the eye up here, and then you have what looks to be teeth, which I think is actually a nice little detail that they put there on the sneaker itself. Uh, taking a look at the rest of the midsole, we do have air written there on the back of the heel. Backward swoosh though. There's a little backward swoosh that we mostly get with a lot of the Travis Scott shoes. And it actually does say cactus here under the strap. And then taking a look here at the outsole, we have Cactus Corporation. Now I will say this, I'm gonna hold this close here. Uh, there's a lot of numbers and letters and stuff like that that's on. And I tried to do some serious research, but unfortunately I could not find any information as to what that stuff actually meant. So unfortunately, yeah, you know, that's part of the part of the deal when you're trying to research these shoes, but it is what it is. Taking a look here at the right shoe, you do actually get an extra set of brown laces that you could uh, lace in there, but I'm not going to lace swap these because obviously this is not my shoe to do so with. But maybe I can find a picture and I'll put it there in the video. Now, when you remove the strap here, it says shark here on this side. And as I showed you earlier, it says cactus here on the left shoe. So shark on the right shoe, cactus on the right, uh, excuse me, on the left shoe. Once again, man, I, I think these actually came out very, very nice. You got the sycamore head again with the Nike swoosh as the mouth, you know, same cream strap that runs all the way around. Uh, and you do have Cactus Jack also written here on the tongue as well. Same thing inside, nothing special in there. There's nothing written on the, uh, the midsole, you know, got that brown sock liner in there, exposed tongue of the, the foam once again. I think these actually came out really, really nice. Very quality shoe, very quality shoe. All right, so Travis Scott, Field Jacks, how do we feel about them now that we've gone over the shoe and some of the features extremely lightweight sneaker and you know what it's actually not half bad looking i probably could see myself throwing these on feet but let me know down there in the comment section below how you guys feel about this and if you like this video please smash that like button for me if you are new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscriber button and click that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop one of these videos. This is also the Way Your Kicks channel. Reminding you to be true, stay in the moment, and don't forget every day is a great day to wear your kicks.